everybody, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight's matchup features two quarterbacks who will be trying to lead their team to victory. It's Lux Colts going up against Flacco's Ravens. Now we'll go down to Lucas Oil Stadium where Jim Nance and Phil Sims have the call. The Ravens are back deep waiting for the kick. And Pat McAfee looks ready to get this one underway. We're underway here. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. He is the man who runs the Ravens attack. Number five, quarterback Joe Flacco. I think we've seen many times you give Joe Flacco some protection, give him some weapons to throw the football to, and he can flat get it done. Still one of the best downfield throwing arms in the NFL. It's a two tight end formation. The Ravens have it at the 24. Raymond, that time on the tackle. In 2014, he went from journeyman to star player. Keep an eye on running back Justin Forsett. Yeah, if you talk about a player that just came out of nowhere and was outstanding, that is Justin Forsett, and he just knows how to run and pick up those extra yards every single play. The Ravens running back that time, he makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Scans the field. Tries to get the feet down, but this will be ruled incomplete. These NFL receivers are so fast that you just got to get rid of that football and let it go. That time the quarterback waits a little too long, and he underthrows the receiver down the field. He's going to take this one from the 18. That returns good for about 25. And now we've got a young quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Uh, you know, Jim, this guy, he's, he's starting to inch his way up into that elite status, and, and he keeps playing solid football. So if he goes out here today and, and plays a good, solid game again today, we're going we're gonna to start talking about him differently here in the future. First down at the 43. Has space. Impressive piece of running by Gore. Gore is a great running back to have on your football team, isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. First down at the 28. And the give to Frank Gore. Hill's going to make the tackle. Gore is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Bradshaw lined up in the backfield. First down at the 17. And Suggs there to meet him. The Colts went out on the offseason and picked up Frank Gore, the workhorse running back for so many years out in San Francisco. Well, you want to take some pressure off of Andrew Luck and get away from just throwing the football every single down. You go out and you get one of the best running backs in the NFL in Frank Gore. Second and eight. And they're all over him for the sack. Well, that's the quarterback's fault. My gosh. The safety, that's who he is supposed to look at at all times when he's under center and when he drops back. He takes his eyes off of him. And what happens? Well, he gets sacked. Third and 12.
Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets in position, down near his own end zone, knocks that pass down. You're late in the first, and that field goal puts them on top. Yes, and it's a confidence boost, no question about it. When you get a field goal or a touchdown late in the first quarter and it puts you on top, it just feels good. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Ravens got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. One of the best corners we have in the entire NFL is Bonte Davis. What a year he had in 2014. He covered the best receiver on every offense that came his way. Pass is intercepted. Late here in the first quarter, and an interception gives the ball back to the offense. You, you know, I know it's early in the game, but they have a chance to change the game for the rest of the three quarters that they go out here and score. Put the other team under extreme pressure. That's what you want to do. The Colts from the 27. Picks up eight here. We're back here to start the second quarter. And partner, when you're in a tight defensive game like this, what does an offense have to do to open this game up? Well, I think what happens sometimes in situations like this, Jim, you know, the offense, they plan for the game and what they're going to do, but they come out there and then their first series or two, and they go, wow, these guys are better, than, better in person than they were on the film. So you've got to adjust physically. I think now that they have adjusted, we'll see if they can make some things happen. Goal from the seven. Four. Slashing to the right side. Hills in on the tackle. Gore's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Just four yards away from the end zone. Second and goal from the four. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with a pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Third and goal from the four. Makes the catch. Touchdown. Just underway here in the second, and it looks like they're going to stay aggressive in this quarter if that touchdown is any indication. Hard to believe it. Here we are early in the second, and we already got a lead that just got increased. I give the offense credit, but somewhere along the line, the defense of the opponents has to step up and just be tougher. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Smith's ready to start this next possession. They're staring at a deficit, and he's not had a first half to remember up to this point. Not going to blame it all on him. There's a lot of people to blame on the offensive side. And I'm going to start with the coaches. You just got to have a better plan on how to get your star wide receiver open. They haven't done that. He's really had no chance to get it done. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Loss of two on that play. From the gun, Flacco. And this pass goes incomplete as he was looking short that time. The Ravens are trailing right now, so you know they're going to have to rely on the passing game the rest of the way. Flacco's struggled mightily, and they're going to need to get him going, Phil. They are going to need to get him going. But listen, let's give the defense a little credit. It's not all about bad offense. The defense is on top of everything. They're playing very well, and I think the offense needs to change what they're trying to do. Perfect defense call that time. They had double coverage on the wide receiver. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. And now we reach the two-minute warning here in the second quarter. 
Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. The Ravens snap it at the 41. Flacco to his tight end pinup. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy? Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch it. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. That's his first reception today. Now inside the 30 at the 29. I know it looks easy, but it's not. But a nice throw on the slant route. Slant route means you're slanting towards the inside. Good throw and catch. Kamar Aitken has the catch. That's what you call a bullet pass. Very little space to throw the football into, but he gets it done. A lot of velocity right on target. Flacco's now completed four in a row. No one was open. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Flacco will take it from the gun. Throws the pass. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. There's a difference. When you play zone, you drop back and you watch the quarterback and you react to the football. When you're playing man-to-man, -man, all you're worried about is where that receiver goes. You try to shadow him, look for the football, and try to make a play. Six yard field goal attempt coming up. The kick is good. Approaching the half, and that field goal has to make them feel good about their play as they keep things close. Jim, no doubt about it. What they're saying to the opponents look out. This game is not over. We're going to be here all day long. The Ravens defense, let's see where they are mentally here, Phil, after allowing a touchdown. Well, they got to have some motivation after that last drive. It was so poor. It's about discipline. We didn't see it from their defense. So this time, go out there and just do your job. plays in the NFL, maybe in all of sports, is still the long pass down the field that is completed. What a nice throw and catch. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Hilton has the reception. The Colts are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. It's now second down. Step drop. Going for the home run. The offense needs two yards here on third down following the incompletion. Quarterback likes what he sees out there outside. He's changing the play with the wide receiver. The receiver comes down with it. Somehow he outbattles him for the catch. And quarterbacks love to throw the football high and far down the field. That time, the quarterback doesn't do that, and he underthrows the receiver. This will be a field goal try for Vinatieri. And the kick is good for three. How important was it, Phil, to add another three to the lead before the intermission? And you got to look at the team that's trailing right now. you got to go in at halftime and change what you're doing because what you've been doing so far, it hasn't worked. 
The Ravens put some points on the board on the previous possession. Although it was just the field goal, Phil, they'll be looking to add some more right here. Oh, absolutely. I think they were disappointed in that last drive. You got it going, you think here comes a touchdown and it doesn't work, and you kick a field goal. So a little disappointed. That should give them some momentum to get tougher and make this happen.